Okay. Um, so, the question is, there we go, is Earthquake or Bone Rush on average more powerful? Is Earthquake... Okay, we'll write this down. Earthquake... Or... Bone Rush. So Earthquake... Very simple, okay? Earthquake is 100 base power, okay? Okay, what about Bone Rush? So Bone Rush... Hits for 25, okay? And it does so two, three, four, or five times, okay? Good. The chances of it hitting two times is 37.5%. So that's 0.375 in decimals. It has the same chance of hitting three times. That's also 0.375. Um, for four times, that's 12.5, and for five times, that's also 12.5. And if you calculate these all together, they'll come up as 100%, obviously, right? Okay, so how do you actually calculate the average Bone Rush attack? How much damage does Bone Rush deal on average? Okay, well, it's actually fairly simple. How much damage does it deal if it hits twice? Well, 50. We'll calculate the technician boost later. That'll come out as the same result. You'll see later. So it take 50 times um, 0.375. So that's the damage it will do, or the base power it has when it hits two times, um, times the chance that it will actually hit. Plus 75 times 0.375. 375. How are you doing, Zorgio Steam? Plus, so hitting four times would be 100, so that that's the exact same as um, Earthquake here. Times 12.5. Plus, so five times would be 125. Times 12.5. Let's run that through our calculator real quick. I can actually not see the calculator. Um. So 50 times 0.375 is 18.75. Uh, what am I calculating? I'm calculating if Earthquake or Bone Rush is more powerful. Um, now 75 times 0.375 comes out to be 28 um 0.125 um and then 100 times 12.5 we can do that in our head times uh, um 100 times we're just going to do this in the calculator 12.5 um, not 12.5, fuck. It's obviously 0.125, and the same for here. Um, so 0.125 times 100 comes out to be, um, 0.1, and then 125 times uh, 125 times 0.125 comes out to be 15.625. And now we gotta calculate all of these together. And then we have the average Bone Rush battle power, okay? So that's 18.75 
plus 28.125 plus 12.5 plus 15 uh, point six two five shit six two five there we go so this all averages out so the average the average bone rush hit turns out to be seventy five point oh seven five okay okay so this is all new to me as well right but we're not done yet so that's just for the average bone rush uh the average bone rush user okay to um smeargle is not the average bone rush user smeargle gets a 50 percent boost on all attacks that have 60 or less base power so also on bone rush right so we can take all of this because that's how multiplication works and can just take it times 1.5 which comes out to be 112.6125 Now that's higher than Earthquake, but we're not quite done yet. Bone Rush has a 80% accuracy. Now we're wearing a Ride Lens, so that adds another 10%. So from 80% it goes to 88%. So we gotta take this number and multiply it by 0.88. So that's the accuracy, because it'll only hit 88% of the time, right? So, we gotta take this number and multiply by 0.88. And that actually comes out to be... 99.9 that is how much base power Bone Rush will have on average. You can't actually see the number. There you go. 99.0.099 is the average base power for Bone Rush on Smeargle. So that means, ladies and gentlemen, by one base power, Earthquake is actually better than Bone Rush. Holy shit. 